is your set time. Yeah. This is your appointed time. Amen. Because intentional living is looking and expecting what the Lord is getting ready to do. Amen. Amen. In other words, before he's, he before he moves and do it, you already receive it by faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So this is your set time. Yeah. This is a set time for this ministry. And we spoke with Apostle Bruce and, and, and he, he said all oh, the, the different things that's going to take place uh, he has to come. I said, God is setting you up for something. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You see, God loves his people. He's going to set us up for something Amen. greater, Amen. for something glorious, Amen. for something that will bring glory to him. Yes. And I'm here to tell you, this is your set time. Amen. This is your appointed time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because a set time is, is deliberately and purposely set aside by God for his truth. Yes. So in other words, he purposely and he deliberately getting things ordered for you this year, amen? Yes. The beginning, the end of this year, or the beginning of next year, he is deliberately setting things up for you. Amen. amen. In other words, he, he, he's going to make you walk right into the blessing. Amen. He's going to make he's going to make you right, walk right into favor. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you go to the state, when you go to the family, when you go to the city, when you go to the county, he's going to make you walk right into the right people. Because he's setting you up for something Amen. powerful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So this is your set time. This is your appointed time. That time that God has set up for you. Amen. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Not man, but God. Come on, sir. Not anyone, but the Lord himself is Amen. setting this thing up for you. Amen. Amen. So a set or appointed time is a time God intentionally, deliberately, and purposely has in mind to bless you. Amen. Amen. Aren't you glad? Aren't you happy that Amen. he's in his mind? Amen. 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 That God is thinking about you and me. Amen. Hallelujah. He thinks about you and me every day. Yes. Every time you wake up, he's thinking about you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So there are things that God is getting ready to set you up with. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise God. So your set time is your appointed time. Amen. Amen. Right. It is your appointed time that God has set up for you. Let's go to the scripture. Genesis chapter 21. Hallelujah. Glory. Amen. I'm talking about setting you up for success. Setting you up for, for his purpose and his plan. Hallelujah. It, it, it is a wonderful thing to walk according to God's purpose and plan for our life. Yes, Hallelujah. Because regardless of what is going around us, how things may look like. But if we walk according to his purpose and plan for your life, he is setting you up for success. Yes. Hallelujah. He's setting you up for favor. Yes. So let's look at Genesis chapter 21. And let's look at verse 1 and 2. I'm reading from, I just bought this Bible, amen, uh, uh, during Black Friday, amen. <laughs> so it's Holy Christian Standard Bible. So... So this Bible is new here, amen. Praise God. It says here, The Lord came to Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hallelujah. Listen to this again. And the Lord came to Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. Promise. Now look at verse 2. He says, Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age. Guess what? At the set time. At the appointed time. At the set time. At the appointed time. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, this is the scripture says that he's going to come. So every time the Lord speaks something in your life, every time he promises anything, a word for you, he will come and ensure that the word will be fulfilled. Yes. That he will confirm his word. So every time that you come to this ministry, every time you come to this church, and you receive a word from the man and the woman of God, and those who preach 
say, teach us the word of God. I'm telling you, God is putting something in you. Yes. Amen. Amen. And he's going to visit you and he's going to confirm some things in your life. What he has promised, Amen. he's able to do it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I love that because God said, God visited them. Mm -hmm. And said, by this time next year, mm -hmm. you're going to have a, a baby. Mm -hmm. You're going to be pregnant and have a baby. And Sarah began to laugh. Yes. Amen. See, but God came back at the right time, yes. at the sad time, yes. at the appointed time, yes. and told Sarah, I am going to fulfill my word. Amen. Amen. So every promises, yes. every word that has spoken in your life, God is here and he's getting ready to fulfill what he has promised in your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So this is not a time for us to sit around and do nothing. This is a time for us to praise God Amen. and give him glory. Hallelujah. Amen. getting ready to do some things. And I like that. He speaks it. Uh -huh. he and he comes to you uh -huh. and says, I'm going to fulfill what I have spoken to your life. Yes. Amen. 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 That is a good God. Amen. Yes. I'm glad that we serve a living God. Yes. I'm glad that we serve a covenant keeper of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Then we see in verse 2, he also told Abraham the same thing. Amen. See, not only he speaks to the woman, he speaks to the man, he speaks to anyone that is willing and obedient. Amen. 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 That is willing, that is yield to the power of the word of God. Uh -huh. Yield to the Holy Spirit. Yes. Amen. Because this is a time for us to perform what is in us. This is a time for us to let the world see the outworking of the word in us. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because we got we have the word in us. And it's about time for us to show the Jesus. world. Yes. What is in us? Yes. The power, yes. the spirit of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes. God will see to it that what He has promised, uh -huh. He will manifest it in your life. Yes. He will see to it. He pays special, a special visit to let you know that even though you are going through, He's here for you. Yes. Yes. Amen. Even though your finances is not working right. Amen. He said, I am here for you. Amen. Amen. Even though your situation may seem that there is no way out, he will make a way out. Amen. Even though the bills are stacking up, he will provide and make a way for those Jesus. bills to be paid. Yeah. Hallelujah. Okay. Amen. Because that's the type of God that we serve. Amen. Yeah. Maybe God has spoken some things in your life. And you are still waiting for him to make it come to pass. How many of us in that situation? Yeah. We're still waiting, amen. I love that confession, amen. Hallelujah. One day that, that millionaire will wake up, you know. I, I, there's, there's, a, there's someone, hallelujah, there's someone over here at uh, uh, Apostle uh, Bruce Church. I want to write that, that check to that person, amen. amen. And if you speak it, you believe it, and God will do it. This is the time for us not to sit around and doubt. Hallelujah. In our belief, this is time for us to give God the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Praise God. In due time, you will receive your just reward. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, don't fall into condemnation. Yes. Don't fall into doubt. Yes. Don't fall into unbelief. Yes. Hallelujah. Because in due season, you shall reap a great harvest. Yes. Hallelujah. And we all will. We will reap a great harvest. Yes. And not even a harvest of souls coming, but a harvest of blessings. Yes. Whatever you believe in God for, yes. God is getting ready to do it for you. Hallelujah. Yes. You open up doors and windows of opportunity and God knows blessings upon your life. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. He set time for you it's the right time. So what does that mean? Don't try to work it on our own. Come on, sir. Don't try to be God. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Don't try to do things that you try to make it work. No, it is all you have to do just believe. Thank God that He's going to do it. And the Lord is going to work things out in your life. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you that God is able to perform every promise. He promised you in the Bible. The Bible says that Abraham was not weakened in his faith and staggered not at the promise of God. 
through unbelief, distrust, or doubt, but he grew strong and empowered by faith as he gave praise and glory to God. Amen? Amen. What did he do? Hallelujah. He gave praise and glory to God. 